and dies. Nope, she did not die. She committed suicide. I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> It's Jay, and today I am here with a review of Teas by Amanda Maciel. I had a lot of problems with this book. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. So, <laughs> as you can tell, it wasn't my favorite book. Like always, I'm going to give a general synopsis of the book, and then I will tell you what I did and didn't like, talk about the characters, all that jazz, and overall what I thought of the book. So without further ado, let us get started! When 16-year-old Emma Putman commits suicide, everybody blames Sarah Wharton, her best friend Brielle, and three other students from her school. Now they're being put on trial for constantly bullying and harassing Emma and basically pushing her over the edge. Tease deals with a lot of hard topics such as slut shaming and suicide and bullying. It's told in the perspective of the bully, which is a really interesting aspect to the book, but Sarah was so melodramatic and ignorant and she just drove me insane. She felt no remorse for anything that she did and honestly she was just a cold-hearted bitch and it just, I could not stand her. She's constantly whining about how slutty Emma ruined her life and how everything was Emma's fault and it was just really annoying. Brielle was also a total bitch. I hated her. She was a snob and everybody was like obsessed with her just because she was the queen of the school. She's basically the Regina George of this book. And I just could not stand her. She was so rude and she was even mean to Sarah. Yeah, like I don't understand why Sarah was hanging out with her because she was such a bitch to her. Just Sarah's whole logic of life was just so not normal. I don't understand girls. The book was very hard to read. It was honestly like mind-blowing that people act like that and think that it's okay to act like that. And it's kind of almost disturbing that people think this way when things like this happen. I just... what? It really makes you stop and think because everyone in the school knew that Emma was being bullied and just because Sarah and Brielle were like the queen bees. Nobody stood up for her. They all just kind of went along with what Sarah and Brielle were doing. The book consists of flashbacks of when Emma was still alive and also to the present day when Sarah is awaiting trial and I thought that that was a really cool way that the author chose to portray the story but I still didn't like it. I think the biggest problem I had with the book was the constant slut shaming. I know that it's a big deal in today's society. It infuriated me how everything was Emma's fault. Yes, what she did was wrong and she shouldn't have been doing what she was doing, but she is not innocent in this situation. Like, is nobody going to take into consideration that the boys were also being slutty and the boys we're a part of this. Everybody forgives the boys, but as soon as it's the girl being slutty, it's like... Life is over. You're a slut, but the guy's like, bro, you are so awesome. Like, you're getting laid. Good for you. Like, no. Dylan, who is Sarah's boyfriend, boyfriend, is one of the boys who Emma kind of brings into her grasp, and nobody blames Dylan. Dylan is still the perfect boy, even though he left Sarah to go to Emma. Like, I don't see the logic here. Why is it Emma's fault? I mean, she's not innocent, but it's not all her fault. Dylan is also a bad person. It just bothers me. Overall, it was an interesting read. I did enjoy it some of the time. I did like the perspective of the bully. It was kind of interesting to see through her eyes, even though she drove me insane. Although the book was unique and intriguing, I did not like it because the main character and her best friend were so snobby and ignorant and it just was so hard to read for me. I do wish that the ending was more clear. We don't really find out the punishment that the girls and the other students get, which I would have liked to know because like that was the whole point of the book was she was on trial, so like what happened? I want to know. Alright guys, so that was my review of Tease. I didn't like it that much. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. Stuck with stupid.